Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, um, well, as we are getting closer to the end of support of Windows 10, even though we do know that extensions will be uh, given uh, one year for Microsoft itself, but you can also use other systems like Zero Patch for multiple years, um, Microsoft has decided that it could be a good idea to have some way to easily transition files from one machine to the other. So basically thinking about transferring files from a uh, Windows 10 machine into a newer Windows 11 machine. So now they have, of course, this a new uh, backup app, the backup app that was only for backup of files and syncing of the uh, different um, settings. Now we'll have this other option, which will be, oh, you want to transfer information from a PC to another. So you'll have the um, ability to connect the PCs together on a home Wi-Fi or on home network. And then there will be this um, happening. So there's will be, first of all, you to find the devices that you want to transfer. And then it's going to say, that is that what you want to transfer from? And the next page, of course, you will then have a way of pairing the devices. So you'll have a code to enter on both machines so that this will um, make sure that the connection happens and that you are indeed on a machine that's yours. We'll then have what do you want to uh, transfer? So there's going to be uh, you know, desktop documents, the different folders that you have, my stuff, plus... Uh, other options uh, of different uh, folders that might be different because sometimes we create folders that are not within necessarily the standard folders. So every option of actually seeking whatever folder you want to transfer is going to be in here. And then there's going to be the official transfer going on. So it's going to tell you, well, this is how long it's going to take and this is how much data we're transferring. If it's over Wi-Fi and you have gigabytes of files, the one thing that will be important to understand is that this might take several hours. And uh, the best is if you can actually connect directly with, you know, Ethernet cable and have gigabit speed to make this the fastest transfer possible. The other uh, limits of transfer, of course, will be depending if you have an old machine, for example, with a magnetic hard drive might be slower than two machines with a solid state drive, things like that. But overall, the network speed is going to decide how long it's going to take or not. But at least you'll have an easy way of transferring files from one machine to the other. So this is coming up. This is uh, the uh, updated backup app that will have this option available, and it's uh, going to be available soon to everyone on Windows 10 and 11 for the transfers. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.